headlines, NCR remains under alert level 1. Fuel price rollback possible next week. Philippine U.S. troops works on amphibious assault exercises. Comelec Smartmatic meet to discuss data breach. Cloudy skies with isolated rains to prevail. Heat Mavericks book playoffs bursts. And BSP forecast March inflation at 3.7%. Good evening. Today is Thursday, March 31, 2022. I'm Miguel Palatagon and this is Tribune News on Q. Here are the stories for this evening. Malacanang announced on Thursday that the Interagency Task Force on Emerging Infectious Diseases has placed the National Capital Region and many areas across the country under the COVID-19 Alert Level 1. Presidential spokesman Martin Andanar said that aside from Metro Manila, Cordillera Administrative Region, Abra, Apayao, Kalinga, and Baguio City, Region 1, Ilocos Norte, Ilocos Sur, La Union, Pangasinan, and Dagupan City, Region 2, Batanes, Cagayan, Isabela City of Santiago, and Quirino, Region 3, Aurora, Bataan, Bulacan, Nueva Ecija, Pampanga, Angeles City, Tarlac, Zambales, and Olongapo City, Region 4A, Cavite, Laguna, Batangas, Rizal, and Lucena City, Region 4B, Oriental Mindoro, Marinduque, Romblon, and Puerto Princesa City, Region 5, Albay, Catanduanes, and Naga City, Region 6, Aklan, Guimaras, Capiz, Bacolod City, and Iloilo City, Region 7, Siquijor, Cebu City, Lapu-Lapu City, and Mandawi City, Region 8, Biliran, Ormoc City, and Tacloban City, Region 9, Sambuanga City, Region 10, Camiguin, Bugidnon, Inigan City, and Cagayan de Oro City, Region 11, Davao City, Region 13, Surigao del Sur, Surigao City, and Putuan City are also under Alert Level 1. Under Alert Level 1, intrazonal and interzonal travel shall be allowed without regard to age and comorbidities. All establishments, persons, or activities are allowed to operate, work, or be undertaken at full on-site or venue sitting capacity provided it is consistent with minimum public health standards. The Department of, em of Energy is seeing an indication that fuel prices may drop next week. According to DOE Oil Industry Management Bureau Director Rino Abad, oil prices had decreased in the previous three trading days. Abad said the ongoing peace talks between Russia and Ukraine had an influence on oil trading this week. However, he said that reports that the peace talks between the two countries are being stalled might affect the chances of a fuel price rollback. Russia and Ukraine have been holding peace negotiations in an Istanbul pa palace, according to a report by Reuters. Moscow also promised to scale down military operations around Ukraine's capital and north. As part of the Balik Balikatan exercise, Military personnel from the Philippines and the United States held a bilateral amphibious exercise or Amphibex in the vicinity of Claveria, Cagayan. Amphibex involves the movement of assault amphibious vehicles from L-class ships to shore. It requires the vertical insertion of troops using different air assets of both armed forces. The activity demonstrated the bilateral forces' ability to seize a Littoral object, objective as part of a complex combined arms operations between Philippines and U.S. ground naval and aviation assets. The execution of the Amphibex began with the launch of the AVS of the Marines from USS Ashland and BRP Tarlac. The AVS then conducted the mechanized assault and seized a beach in Claveria, which was the main effort to attack the objective. Tribune News on Q will be back after these reminders.
kandidato ngayong national elections na nananawagan po ng pagkakaisa. Ako po si Sara Duterte. Handa po akong magsimbisyo sa ating bayan. Hinihingi ko po ang tulong at suporta ninyo para sa pagkabisi presidente ng ating bansa. Daily Tribune, may digital shows na din. Dahil sa mas lumalaki at mas lumalakas nating tribu, handog sa inyo ng Daily Tribune ang mga programang magbibigay buhay araw-araw. Be informed at mag-good vibes tuwing umaga sa programang Gising Na. Be updated sa news and happenings sa Tribune News on Cue. Mas kilalanin pa natin ang mga paborito niyong atleta sa programang The Athletes Tribune. Alamin ang latest entertainment sa programang What's Up. Ma-inspire sa mga kwentong hatid ng Fairfax. Search lang ang Daily Tribune sa inyong Facebook at Tribune Now on YouTube. See you there, mga katribu! In other news, the Commission on Elections is set to meet with officials of election technology provider Smartmatic to discuss the alleged security breach ahead of the May 9 elections, according to Chairman Saidaman Pangarungan. Aside from Smartmatic, separate meetings will be conducted with election watchdogs, Parish Pastoral Council for Responsible Voting and National Citizens' Movement for Free Elections. To recall, Senator Amy Marcus, who chairs the Senate Committee on Electoral Reforms, barred an alleged security breach within Smartmatic's operations involving personal information, ledgers, office photos, and contact persons. The Comelec, in response, asked the National Bureau of Investigations to probe the matter. Pangarungan said he also required the NBI to submit its report of its investigation. State Weather Bureau Pag-asa announced that cloudy skies with isolated rains and thunderstorms will prevail over the eastern section of the country due to easter lies. Metro Manila and the rest of the country will, prov will have partly cloudy to cloudy skies with isolated rain showers or thunderstorms mostly in the eastern section due to easter lies or localized thunderstorms. The wind speed forecast for northern Luzon is moderate to strong moving northeast while coastal water conditions will be moderate to rough. The rest of the country will experience light to moderate wind speeds while coastal water conditions will be slight to moderate. In sports, the Miami Heat rallied to beat the Boston Celtics 106-98 and clinched an NBA playoff berth on Wednesday as the postseason picture began to get clearer. Dallas also secured a playoff swap after Luka Doncic scored 35 points and handed out 13 assists to lead the Mavericks to a 120-112 victory over the Cleveland Cavaliers. The Cavs' defeat meant either the Eastern Conference leading Heat or Celtics will be sure of a berth, and it was a tense finish in Boston. Jimmy Butler scored 24 points and Kyle Lowry added 23 as Miami came out on top in a game that featured 16 lead changes. Bam Adebayo finished with 17 points and 12 rebounds for the Heat, who pushed a one-point halftime lead to as many as 11, but trailed 83-79 to going into the final quarter. And in business, monetary authorities project an acceleration of domestic inflation rate for March 2022 to 3.7% from the previous month's 3% due to an uptick in oil prices, among others. Banco Central ng Pilipinas, Governor Benjamin Jocno, said forecast range for the month is between 3.3 to 4.1 percent, noting that the continued oil price hikes along with high electricity rates in Meralco serviced areas, higher meat prices, and the peso depreciation are the primary sources of inflationary pressures during the month. These factors are, however, projected to be countered by the lower water rates in areas being serviced by both 
the, the, the Manilad and the Manila water as well as decline in the prices of rice, fish, and vegetables owing the easing supply conditions. BSP's average inflation projection for this year was changed to 4.3%, which is higher than the government's 2-4% to 4 target band and to 3.6% for 2023. That wraps up the stories tonight. Before we go, we would like to thank the SM Store, Araneta City, the Department of Tourism, MG Motors, Hina Motors, Security Bank, Empire Eastlands Holdings Incorporated, and Overseas Community Affairs Council member Alan Lin of the Republic of China for their, for their continued support. Again, this is Miguel Pautagon, and you're watching Tribune News on Q. Stay safe, stay healthy, and stay at home. Good night, and God bless us all. This public service advisory is brought to you by Daily Tribune and 100.3 RJFM. Oh, vaccination, isolation. Gotta keep up with my nutrition. Gotta maintain my body condition. Then I can take my vaccination. What do I choose? What do I take? As long as it is not a fake. AstraZeneca, Moderna, BioNTech, even Sinovac, okay now. Vaccination for the nation, no more isolation with vaccination. This public service advisory is brought to you by Daily Tribune and 100.3 RJFM. Mga katribu, tara na't makiisa at matuto sa mga public service programs hatid ng Kalingang Katribu. Tuwing lunes, nandyan ang usapang business na magbibigay tips at inspirasyon sa mga aspiring entrepreneurs kasama si Vernon Velasco. Tuwing Merkules, usapang pangkulusugan naman ang tatalakay ni Ms. Cory Quirino sa health and wellness. At tuwing Biyernes naman, kung legal advice ang kailangan mo, sagot ka na ng Legal Diaries kasama si Elmer Navarro Manuel at mga guest lawyers. Lahat ng niya mapapanood tuwing alas 13.30 ng hapon sa Daily Tribune Facebook page at Tribune Now on YouTube. Catch the latest news on our website, tribune.net.ph. Follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Subscribe to our YouTube channel, Tribune Now. Download the Daily Tribune app on Apple Store for iOS and Google Play for Android to get the latest and most comprehensive news online. Daily Tribune invites you to join its vibrant community, Katribu, to get updates on the hottest news on politics, business, sports, lifestyle, and entertainment. Emoticons of the Tribune mascot Tarsito are available on our community Viber.